Hey guys, so I am back. I've been on a hiatus, a long hiatus. However, it was a good one. It was for a good reason. So this is gonna be a new segment that I start. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it just yet, but you'll see it in the description. So I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you know your patience if you are like subscribed to my channel and everything. Um, so today we are going to talk about sneakers. We're going to talk about vision boards, and we're going to talk about wine, of course. And shout out to Barefoot. Sabignon. You know, say you know how to say filet mignon. Sabignon Blanc. That's what this is. Okay, let me make that for you to clear for you. There you go. It's good. It's really good. I like it. I'm feeling it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I know the first thing everybody wants to know is about the cancer. So, I was done my last chemo May 31st. And I went for a follow-up skin to see, you know, how the chemo worked and everything on my body. And I went to, I did the scan around July, like, like July 4th, let's say later, July 4th. And then maybe second week of July is when I got the results. So I go to the doctor, I'm like, yes, like I'm ready to get my port out. Cause like I still have my port in, I don't know if you can see it, but it's still in there. So I'm like super excited. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm ready to get this port out. Like enough is enough. I'm ready to go swimming, you know, live my life, my best life. And the doctor is just asking me all these questions, you know, like, how are you feeling? How's everything going? I'm just like, everything's good. And he's just like, okay, well, you know, whew, we found, you know, like, two more lumps. And I'm like, what? I'm like, okay, you know, like, where? And he's just like, you know, in the groin area. So I'm like, oh, here we go. So I was really, 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 like, butthurt. And that's one of the reasons why I did not, I wasn't blogging and YouTubing. It's just because, like, it was just like a crush to my spirit. Because I was just so ready to be done chemo. I was so ready to be done. And just the doctor say, hey, you know, you're cancer free. Let's turn up. Let's take some shots right here in the doctor's office, you know. But that wasn't the case. So I was just really, like, devastated. And I... I was just, uh, I was just done, you know, because if you know me, then you know, like, the whole Kim thing is such a sensitive subject, and, like, even now, I'm just getting a little bit emotional, because, like, I really, I don't like talking about it. Really, I just, like, broke down the lock of the office, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, so, I went, and I tried to get a scan, I thought I had a video for y'all, like, last week, but, unfortunately, it didn't work out, because I went, and I got my scan, then, on Friday, and I was super nervous and they put the IV in my freaking hand dude and let me tell you something if you never had IVs like in your hand before then you don't know how this feels but when I you have to get the skin they give you like a sterile solution or whatever so they can take the image in when she put that stuff try to push the button and put it in oh my gosh I felt like I was getting lethal injection it burns so bad and then like it feels like a warm sensation so my vagina was on fire like it was so bad so i'm in there like oh like screaming i know me i'm extra so i'm in there freaking out i'm like oh my gosh like, oh my gosh i'm coming in right now i'm like girl like that stuff really hurts like what is that what's going on you know she was just like oh my gosh she's like i'm so sorry she's like it's because it's in your hand so it's gonna be you know like a little more um, sensitive I'm like oh geez Louise so long story short she does the scan and I get my results next Friday I'm super nervous y'all don't even understand but I will definitely let y'all know the results and how everything goes you know I'm I'm still having faith I still trust God it's just super super hard to be positive but on a good note, I'm working now. I'm doing visual merchandising. So, you know, that's me right up my alley. So, I'm super excited. That's the update. Now, let's get to the sneakers. I'm so excited about these sneakers. You like my outfit? Super cute. These little pink things in the bag, that's why I took them from work. They have a double track. I said, uh-uh, girl, you were giving them to me. I can use them for my YouTube videos as a little backdrop. 
Let me go ahead and vent my with some more frustration. First of all, look at my shoes. Hold up. These joints is fly. Like these are so fly. I got these in um in Torrance, California. Oh, tell them. Look at that detail. That's super nice. Look. And that color, amazing. If you know me, you know sneakers have been my thing. Like even before a sneakerhead was a thing. Like. I'm my dad's oldest, you know, he wanted a boy, he got me, which is even better, but he always had me in sneakers. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I be posting my little throwback Thursday pictures with my sneakers and everything. So, and just living with my cousins out in California, you know, and their guys, like, they love sneakers, so my sneaker knowledge is up there. It ain't top notch, but it's up there. So, you could say I'm kind of a kind of a sneaker connoisseur, you know? I don't even have to worry about, first of all, waiting in line or doing a raffle. The only time I do raffles was for my cousins because they have bigger sizes. I go to Christiana Mall and I'm like, okay, it's not 10 o'clock yet. The mall's not open, so I went to the Pearson place because my freaking earrings and fell down the sink and my belly button ring, so I had to replace them. And I'm like, okay, boom, 10 o'clock. I go to Foot Locker. they like, oh, we didn't get kid sizes. I'm like, um okay so i go to foot action they're like nah we didn't get kids sizes the only sizes that got kids was villa i'm like well what the hell is a villa you know what i'm saying like i don't know what that is and he was like oh it's just another sneaker store and i'm like okay so i go there it's a line i'm like okay whatever i'll stay in line like you know i'm in line and there's just people talking in front of me i'm just eavesdropping and they talking about first of all they only got a limited amount of pair like 20 maybe not 20 something pair no probably 20 something pair because it looked like only 20 people walked out with a bag and it was first come first serve i was like oh hell no we don't do this in california like so i took an l it's my first l ever on a release like what is that so you know i was in my feelings i won the champs and I go into my size, and I'm like, these sneakers are fire. Like, I seen them in the Air 1 version. I seen them in the Air Max version. I wasn't feeling them. This version, fire. Let me just show you this. Ah, I'm so excited for you. I see these. Let's get to the reveal. So, <laughs> Nike, here's the box. So, these are Air Zoom Spiridon. There y'all go, Air Zoom Spirit On, whatever. These are so cute. Look, look at the packaging. International, so you know it's about to be something super crazy. But let me take a sip of this wine first. Mm. Wait, I should check out this one. Okay. look at these babies these okay first of all this is the nike international collection so this, first of all they give you this sick ass patch that you can take off and i you know me i'll put this on a denim jacket or something this is super cute second look at this what do you call this holographic hologram whatever this is super duper cute let me make sure that it's clear so y'all can get the there we go are you kidding me? Look at these. So, mm, about to drop them. So, these are a, of course, a five, my size. I love the detail on them just because details definitely matter in uh, sneakers to me. Um, unless it's like a plain sneaker. But I just love this. The front, like the top of the shoe is like really my favorite just because it has like a, they kind of resemble Prestos, just a tad. Um... And this is like very like, I don't know, I'm getting 90s vibes from these. And I have so many things I could wear with these. Ah! I got new kicks. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at these bad boys on my feet. Yes. But these are so cute, right? Yeah. Bye. Yes. I am not upset about my ones anymore. The next thing I want to talk about, and I'm super excited to talk about it, oh my gosh, is my vision board. 
Okay. My long term goals over here. I got my short term goals over here. Okay. This Aliyah B is just something that is very near and dear to my heart. I'm going to write a book about it one day and make sure I let you guys know. And if you don't know, Aliyah B is my last name backwards and the B is for my dad's last name. So my dad's last name is Bryson and my last name is Hale. So that's how I got the Aliyah B. And I just have a lot of things on here. I won't share everything with you guys just because... Um, Sometimes you can block your own blessings by telling people your plans and that's just, I've been really reserved and really just cautious about what I want to let, you know, people know. I got, um, just like things like traveling, I never found the country, so I definitely want to do that. Vision, passion, and action, um, you need all three. Like, you really need all three to be successful, you need all three to be happy i mean to accomplish your goals you need all three you know in your relationship with god and i'm really working on my relationship with god i'm super excited about that a lot of people when starting their businesses they're so or we're just whatever you want to do in life we're just so worried about hearing no and you shouldn't look at no as anything negative he was saying no equals new opportunity and i was like oh my gosh like yes i love that so much like i love that that's like that's my mantra from now on like anytime anybody tells me no and you know, i don't like hearing the word no like i'm i'm spoiled i like what is no like you don't tell me no like no what you know like if you tell me no i'm gonna figure out a way to get it myself so i'm gonna just look at it like okay it's not meant for me right now you know, there's another opportunity. You guys opened up another door. God is putting somebody else in my life. Uh, I just want to encourage you guys that a uh, vision board, it don't have to be something entrepreneurial. A vision board could be anything that you want to do. It could be, okay, I want a new car. And these are the steps that I'm going to do to get a new car. I want to buy a house. These are the steps I'm going to do, you know, to buy a house. Here, I definitely have short-term goals on here in my YouTube. I'm trying to get back to, you know, YouTubing and blogging and uh just because it's, it's a positive outlet you know and you don't really know like who's watching or who you could be influencing or empowering so i want to do this every sunday so even if i don't get a new pair of sneakers i have enough sneakers in my closet to last me until april trust me when i tell you i'm at a really a really 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 good space i'm just i don't i'm just really excited like i just want my skin to glow and i just want everything that god has for me to just to Speaking of God, this is my song. Just take a moment. Before I complete the video, I definitely just, whoever's watching, I definitely want to pray for you guys. Just because I don't really know, you know, like what people are going through and everybody needs a little prayer. So, dear God, I just thank you for your blessings and thank you for um, blessing me with the the platform to do this video and thank you for the people that are watching and for everybody that's watching if they have any dreams if they have any goals that they want to do god i challenge them to write them down do a vision board and just pray over it every time they see it every time they think about it and let their dreams and their goals manifest let them grow closer in their relationship with you and help them to know that they can do all things through you and do not be worried about their haters worried about the enemy and just let them be go into the world confident and go into the world loving even if they're having a bad day just think what would jesus do you know and if you know they're struggling with that what would michaela do i would definitely be nice to people just kill them with kindness and they will be first the last shall be first and if they feel like they last right now they want to be firm. Do what it is that you put them on earth to do and do what you call them to do in this life. And yeah, and let's and just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah! Anybody's watching, I challenge you to six months. Just go ahead and dedicate it to your goals, dedicate it to your vision, and don't tell nobody. Just 
do you you gotta shut the fun down shut the fun down stay home like yourself in your room wherever and just grind it out whatever it is like i said i don't care if it's you want to clean your house and have your whole house spotless like do it like i challenge you six months and i tag some of my friends so i'm definitely going to give you guys an update on you know how my friends did even myself i challenged myself so I want to let you guys know like how I did and I'm super excited for what you guys are going to do in the future. I'm excited for what I'm going to do in the future and yeah, yeah. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Okay, thanks. Bye.